the third episode in this series on energy. I'm Mr. Salagaris. We're going to explore the concept of kinetic energy and different forms of energy that this title covers. Like we talked about earlier, kinetic energy, or KE for short, is the energy of movement. Let's talk forms of kinetic energy and why they're considered as types of energy of motion. Let's start with sound energy. So you've all seen the Star Wars movies and movies like that. Uh, where gunfire, pepper space, planets are exploding, right? Okay, sorry to ruin your future movie experiences, but uh, these sounds are actually all for show. There are no sounds in space like this. Sound is made when things are made to vibrate, such as the skin of a drum. When this happens, the surface of the drum skin causes particles in the air to vibrate back and forth, which produces sound. So, sorry sci-fi buffs, unfortunately in space the particles are spaced too far apart for the vibrations to produce what we hear as sound. Okay, let's move on to light energy. Light energy is actually electromagnetic energy, which is made up of photons which move at uh, 299 million, okay, roughly meters per second, or uh, for people like me, really, really fast. Photons are tiny particles that move, hence light energy can be classified as kinetic energy. So to understand why heat is classified as kinetic energy, you need to understand that all things are made up of particles which vibrate very quickly when heated and slow down when cooled. Heat's also, heat energy is also known as thermal energy. So electrical energy is considered as kinetic energy because electrons, which are a type of subatomic particle, which make up an atom are moving in electrical currents. So another th form of uh, kinetic energy which we won't discuss here is uh, mechanical or motion energy. Okay, let's sum up what we learned. Kinetic energy is the energy of motion. Types of kinetic energy are light, sound, heat, and mechanical. Okay, that's a wrap. Stay tuned. Uh,